Hello everyone, today we are, gonna, we are going to be playing One Night Hot Springs. Who on earth could be calling me? Hello, it's been so long since I've talked to you. Sorry for calling so suddenly. You're not busy, are you? Not busy at all. How have you been, Manami? You've been wonderful, thanks. And that's why I wanted to call you. My birthday is coming up, and since it's my 20th, my parents said that they would let me go on a trip with my friends. So my plan is to go on a trip to the hot springs with my two best friends. And of course, that includes you. My parents will pay for everything, so don't worry about the cost. Hot springs, but you know that I'm... I know, I know, which is why I'm calling to talk to you. First, before deciding anything, Haru, you are my oldest and closest friend. It would mean so much to me if you were, if you were with me to celebrate my twentieth birthday. But I also want you to enjoy yourself for the fullest, to the fullest. So let me know what I can do to make you as comfortable as possible. But it's been years since I've been to a public bath, let alone a hot spring. I know which is why it's a good chance. You, what? I know which is why it's a good chance you'll be with me. So if anything or anyone bothers you, you can tell me. I'm not really worried about being uncomfortable, it's more with everyone else. It'll be fine, nobody will pay any attention. They will. Haru, nobody cares as much as you think they do, I promise. Please come for me. Fine, if they have reserved baths, I'll go. Yes, it's going to be the best birthday ever. I'll call, you on, I'll call you again when everything's been sorted out. She always hangs up so fast. I can't believe I agreed to go to the hot springs. What should I do? How do women behave when they go to hot springs together? Let's see what the term search, search terms. Hot spring with female friends gets me. Oh, an article titled, When going to the hot springs with your girlfriends. You don't have to care that much about makeup. Should I worry about it a little? Don't worry about bus size. Well, I guess I don't really have a bus to worry about, so... But don't forget to shave. What? Shave? Which part's how much? Well, I just don't know. I'll just have to figure it out as I go. I'll just wait until Manami calls with more details. This is enough internet for me today. I guess I'll turn in for the day. I'm really here. What on earth am I doing? I'm not really prepared for this. I'm here now, I'll just have to power through this. You can do it, Haru. Haru, over here, where? Hi, Manami. Oh wow, Haru, I love your hair. Thanks, I decided to grow it out. It looks amazing. Thanks, Manami. Hey, Manami, don't forget about me. Sorry, Erika. This is Haru, my best friend. And Haru, this is Erika, my friend from high school. The name is Nagata. In case you were wondering, I am Haru Suzuki. It's nice to meet you. You can speak more casually, you know? We're, we're the same age. We're the same age? Yep, I'm close enough. Erica's 30. Yeah, I heard from Manami that you two went to the same preschool. Yeah, I mean. You, well, you really need to listen up. A dip in the hot spring will probably do you some good. Manami, you gonna check us in or what? Alright, let's go then. Hello, I have a re reservation under Tachibana. Yes, we have re your reservation. Would you please fill out this registration card? Haru, Erika, could you fill out your information? Yeah, sure. Time to fill out this form. First, my name. I probably need to write my eagle name. And my eagle gender, too. I should fill out the rest of the form. Age 19. Address and occupation. And everything else. I'm finished. Me too. Thanks. Here's the registration card. Thank you. you Mr. Haruto Suzuki. I probably need to answer. How do we? I see your room is the equal room on the second floor. Please enjoy your stay. Let's go to the room then. 
I'm going to buy a drink first. My throat is like this. See you back at the room. How are you okay? You don't have to worry about me. Let's go to the room. Ah, oh, room. Really? Nice. It's a proper tatami room. Tommy is so much trouble to clean, but I love how it looks. I love tatami too. It's so, it has such a nice smell. I just want to lie down and sleep on it. Go ahead, me and Suzuki here. We'll just head to the hot spring while you're snoozing away. No, don't go without me. I want to go to the hot springs too. I'm just kidding. Even though I plan on heading to the hot springs ASAP. Too much studying hot over at my desk lately. I need to give my stiff so shoulders a break. Hot springs? We should get changed first, I guess. The Yukata should be around here somewhere. Not here. Or here. Or found them. One for each of us. Oh, they're cute. I wonder if they're for sale. Let's get changed then. I'll change in the bathroom. What's up with... Oh. Thank goodness the Yutaka unisex. I hope that... I just hope that it's big enough for me. It looks fine to fit me. You got to are all straight lines. So not having a waist or much of a chest is better. It's better for me. I hope I can tie it well. Oh, that's not a good bow. Let me try that again. Maybe this is a little better. I'm okay with this. Sorry for the wait. Oh, looking pretty good. Thanks. Yeah, if I didn't know better, I would have thought, Erica, I told you not to say, it's okay, Haru. It's better than the other possible reaction. Let's get going. I need to check the times for the reserved dance. But you're not heading into the women's match with us? That would be a bit too, you know. I don't think it would be that big of a deal. Erica, don't. It's fine. I want to check out the reserves back, the reserved bath anyways. Come on, let's go. Haru, Erica and I are going to go ahead and then. You don't have to worry about me. I'll see you again at dinner time. Oh, she, that's what she said, Minami. Let's go already. Oh, don't grab my arm. See you later, Suzuki. I'm making Minami worry. I have to stop that. First, I need to find out how to reserve the bath. Excuse me. How may I help you? How do I book the reserved baths? If you mean the family baths, please head to the upper left and write your name and room on the reservation list. Thank you very much. The family baths are to your right. Yes, thank you. I came here, but is it really okay for someone like me to head into a family bath? Can you even use a family bath on your own? I've just been taking away a time slot from an actual family, which I do. I guess it should be okay if I don't take too long. It would be a shame if, if I came to a hot spring but didn't actually go in. It's been so long since I've been at a proper one. I'm going to reserve time slots. Let's see. They're booked. Are you serious? And here I was trying so hard to encourage myself. Excuse me? Sorry, I was just leaving. Would you like to book the family dance? I was going to, but they're all booked. Oh no, I sincerely apologize for the inconvenience. May I suggest you enjoy our splendid women's baths instead? We have vase-shaped bathtubs, which you can enjoy privately, like the family baths. If you would like, I could show you to the baths. Oh, is something the matter? No, I just... I... The truth is, I think that if I go into the women's baths, it might make the other patrons uncomfortable. That's why I wanted to use the family baths. I see. I understand your concerns. However, as it is, you won't be able to enjoy the baths in this wonderful hot spring town. I can't allow that. What? I can't allow one of our guests to miss out on our fantastic hot springs. No, it's my own problem. So, no, you come to enjoy the hot springs. So I will ensure that you can. Would you please tell me your name and room? Er, it's Haru Suzuki in the Genko room. That would be Mr. Harato Suzuki then? Miss, we'll be fine. Just forgive me. Now, if you would please wait here for a moment. Now I'm even causing trouble for the staff. I guess I should just wait. I 
apologize for the wait. No, that was hardly any wait at all. With your permission, we would like to upgrade your party to a room with an open air bath. What? Would that be acceptable? I don't want to cause any fuss. It is our way of apologizing for the fully booked family dance. We want all of our guests to enjoy our hot springs. It's also a personal wish from a staff member who loves this hot spring town. Will he accept the upgrade? Is it really okay? Of course. Then, yes please. Thank you very much. If you would allow me to accompany you to your room. This is the Azalea room. I don't know how to thank you. It was nothing. I hope you enjoy your stay. What a nice person. She said she would, would tell Manami and Nagata about the changing rooms too. I didn't think people would be that co accommodating. Maybe the world is kinder than I thought it was. Let's check out the open air bath then. This is really nice. The view is amazing. I don't even want to think about how much it would cost normally. It's absolutely gorgeous. Is it really okay, okay to get an upgrade like this for free? Oh, stop worrying, Haru. The staff said it was okay, so I'm going to enjoy this. I need to wash first. Oh, I love the smell of the shampoo. Chrysanthemum? It's really relaxing. And this, oh, a charcoal soap? Cool. Now to try out the conditioner and to wash it all up. And head into the bath. Oh wow, I can feel the knots in my muscles listening. I can't even remember how long it's been since I've soaked in a real hot spring water. Could never afford to go to a place like this myself. And I can't go into the regular hot springs. All I've got is my bathtub at home. I wish I could stay here forever. That was a good soak. I should get dressed. What a wonderful bath. Thank you, staff lady. Wow, time passed pretty quickly. Manami and Nagata should be back soon. Back. Hey, Suzuki. I heard from the staff that we were upgraded to a room with an open air bath. Yes, because the family baths were all booked. Wow, that's so nice of them. The staff didn't just tell you to go to the women's baths. Erica. She did, but when I explained, she was very understanding. Oh, that's really cool of her. Yeah. I was surprised, but really happy. Did you two enjoy the hot springs? It was really nice. Yeah, I've never been to such a proper, expensive place before. You should have come with us. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Oh, Haru, I think you've got something in your hair. Let me get that for you. It's okay, I'll get it myself. I don't even know where it is. You can tell me. But it would be easier if I took it. There, I got it. Thanks. Hmm, is that how it is? Is what how is it is? Nothing, nothing. I'm just gonna get in here. Excuse me. Good evening. Please allow me to set the table for you. What would you like to drink? What do you two want? How about beer for everyone? I'm underage, so I'll just have oolong tea. Right, right. Two beers and one oolong tea, please. Please enjoy a meal. Meal. Nanami, are you okay with beer? I've never actually drunk before. It'll be fine, it's your 20th, so you should try a bit at least. If you don't like it, I'll drink it for you. More importantly, this dinner. This looks amazing. Let's eat. I requested a tofu nabe so that we can all share. Don't worry, Erica, it's all vegetarian. A vegetarian, Nagata? Yes, so it's really tough eating out. I can't even get a salad without worrying about it having animal products inside. Really? Isn't it just vegetables? You'd be surprised. There's stuff like bacon and gelatin sometimes. Yeah, Manami bought me a potato salad with gelatin and bacon before. But I know better now. Anyway, the drinks are here, so we should toast. You're the birthday girl, so go ahead. Okay then, thank you for celebrating my birthday with me. It means a lot to have my two best friends here. A toast to my friends. Cheers. Cheers! Now that we got that over with, let's eat! The tempura, my taki was so crispy. Oh, this tofu is so soft. 
It tastes even better with a bit of the pink salt. That was delicious. Of course you are. How many bowls of rice was that? I don't know. Man, I am a two. You are idiots. Maru? Uh, Haru isn't an idiot. Neither is Manami. Such idiots. Her body feels really heavy. Ah, uh, she fell asleep. Suzuki. Can you help me carry her to the futon? Oh, okay. She's surprisingly heavy because she does sports. It's, uh, it's the muscle. Really? I didn't know that. Though I can imagine it. She's always so full of energy. She went out like a light today, though. I think it was the beer. Yeah. Trust Manami to be such a lightweight. It's a good opportunity for me, though. A good opportunity. I wanted to talk with you. But no, Nami was being all but Manami was being all sensitive about it. So I figured I'd ask when Manami isn't around. I'm not great with this sort of thing, to be honest. But I really just want want to understand a bit better, and you can tell me to stop at any time if you want to talk, so Mind if we chat for a bit? Nagata is Manami's friend, so I'm sure she really does have good intentions, but I haven't really properly talked about this to anyone before. What should I tell her? What do you want to talk about? I'm just a bit curious since you're the first transgender person I've ever met. That might not be true. You might have met other transgender people before, but you just didn't notice. Maybe to be honest, if Manami hadn't told me, I wouldn't have known you were transgender, Suzuki. Can I just call you Haru? You can call me Erica. That's fine. Haru then. Is that like your transgender name? Or no, it's a nickname from when I was a kid. Oh, so a nickname from when you were still a guy? How should I respond? It comes from a legal name on my family register. What was your name? What was your name again? I heard it at Chicken Haruto, right? You probably should ask that sort of thing to transgender people. Why? Asking for a name someone isn't using now is kind of like denying who they are. So, oh, sorry, I, sorry about that. I didn't mean to mean it that way. So, could you forget it? It's okay. I actually like the name Haru. It's unisex. I'd like to change my legal name to Haru if I could, if I can. I guess since you haven't changed your name, you can't use Haru on official documents and stuff. Yep. I guess your legal gender is. Yep. Must be hard on you. Can't you change it? It's a bit tough. I would need to get gender affirmation surgery and be sterilized. What? I mean, I guess gender affirmation surgery is cool if you want to change your body anyway, but why do you need to be sterilized? Yeah, though in some other countries you can change your gender without doing either. I didn't know. Yeah, there are a lot of requirements. You also have to be 20 and above, not married. Currently and have no kids who are minors. Why do you have to be unmarried and not have kids? Well, for the marriage bit, because if you change gender, it becomes a same-sex marriage, and that's illegal in Japan. And for the children bit, apparently, it would be confusing for them or something. I know, I didn't make the law. It might get better, though. Some words allow same-sex partnership now, after all. I didn't realize it was so bad. I'm sorry for asking you so many questions. I hope it didn't make you uncomfortable. Fine, I'm actually happy. Thank you for listening. Thank you for sharing with me. I think that after I made you spill all of that out, I definitely owe you one. I talked to some of the attendants earlier, apparently, with their official stance is that you should enter the bats for your legal gender. This is a request this is a request to make quite often and decided that it was unofficially okay, as long as you don't bother other guests. There aren't too many guests today since it's a weekday. And she said that the baths would probably be empty around midnight. So, so nobody would have a problem if you went into the women's baths because nobody would be there. I can't just go in. Calm down, it'll be fine. What if somebody is there? The baths are big. We'll just keep away from them. But what if they look? They won't look, even if they do. Who cares? If anybody says anything, I'll beat them up. Please, don't beat them up. It'll be fine. But you were drinking earlier. That was hours ago. It's out of my system now. Come on, Haru. Don't you want to enter the woman's baths? You're a woman too. That's alright. Erica. What should I do? Okay, I'll go. But if anything happens, it'll be fine. Let's grab our towels and go. Wait, come on. Actually, I think I'll... Come on, you made it all the way here already. I'll even check to make sure nobody else is inside. 
All the keys are in the lockers. Nobody's in the hot springs. Come with me. Okay. Don't worry, I'll change over here. I won't look or anything. Thanks. You can head in for us to wash. See you later then. Wow, so nice in here. The water feels smoother than the one in the room somehow. That's because it's got a lot of minerals in it that are good for your skin. What do you think? Pretty good, right? Yeah. Thanks for bringing me. I don't see what the big deal is. I don't understand why you didn't just come into the baths with Manami and me. I don't get it. What don't I get? Let's pretend for a moment that you're... In a school laboratory. There's one for girls and one for boys. Which do you, one do you go with? One for girls, of course. Of course, what if the students in the male uniform come into the washroom bed? Well, I guess I'd tell them they were in the wrong washroom. Of course, but what if they said they were in the right one? I'd probably have to call a teacher. This isn't just pretend, is it? I speak from experience, aren't you? People like you know exactly where you belong, but people like me don't belong anywhere. You can't just enter bathrooms, or change rooms, or hot springs if you went to a men's bathroom like this. And was seen, I'd be told I was in the wrong washroom. But society tells me I can't use the women's wash bathroom either. It's the same for the hot springs, so we have to watch out for ourselves, since nobody else will. Even though we just want to live like everyone else. Must be, it must have been really hard, R really tough for you in high school. High school wouldn't allow boys to wear anything but the male uniform, but I didn't act like how they thought a boy should act. I got called a lot of names because of that. Yeah, high school students can be vicious. I was at an all-girls school, but things got pretty bad sometimes. Manami never said anything like that. Yeah, she's Manami. Nothing bad ever happens to her, but I was a bit of a delinquent. A bit of a delinquent? Wearing my uniform wrong, fighting with bullies, smoking in the toilet, you know, the usual. I don't know how usual that is. Well, I've got that rebellious phase now. But I know kids can be pretty awful. Girls bullying isn't as obvious as cuts and bruises, but it sticks with you. Were you bullied too? It wasn't that bad. I didn't fit in. Manami was pretty much my only friend in high school and we weren't even in the same class. My home teacher said it was my fault for not trying to be nice, so I stopped caring. That's awful, right? But that's just how things are in high school. People who don't fit in will never fit in, so it's better to just stop caring and enjoy yourself. With people who don't mind that you're different, yeah. Sorry for that incredibly depressing speech. No, no, I'm really happy you shared that with me. I didn't, I don't know why, but I feel like somebody slipped the weight off my shoulders. Then I'm glad I talked to you. Have you ever told Nami any of this? No. I could never tell her. She's done so much for me. It would just make her sad if she knew. Oh, wait, I'm sure it's just now. You like Manami, don't you? Yeah. You know that? She's, you know, right? Yeah, I know. She talks about her boyfriend a lot. He sounds like a really nice guy. I mean, I don't think there's any problem with that. I dated a girl before, too. Really? Yeah, back when I was in high school, I dated somebody at my part-time job. So you're by event. Bye. But uh, you like both men and women? Maybe. To be honest, I don't really know. I don't care much for labels. But it's cool. You do you. Once you got another bath, they've got a nice hot one in the cypress wood. Sure. Oh, that was great. The hot springs are the best at night when it's quiet. Yeah. Thank you for bringing me. Like I said, it's not a big deal. I'm gonna grab a drink. What do you want? Oh, it's okay. I'm fine. And I'll just choose for you. Wait here for a bit. Eric was an interesting person, but nice. I guess I should wait here. Oh, good evening. It was Miss Suzuki, yes? Did you perhaps have a chance to enjoy the women's baths? How should I respond? Yes. But only because I knew there was nobody else inside. But I wasn't the only one that checked. My friend looked in the changing room for me, so... Ah, yes, the baths are usually empty at this hour. It isn't that common for people who want to bathe alone to use the baths at this time. So I'm very pleased to hear that you could enjoy the baths. I hope you have a pleasant night. She knows, doesn't she? But she shouldn't, didn't say anything. 
She pretty much took it. It was okay for me to go to the women's baths. I'm really happy. Hey, got you some herb tea. Thanks. It tastes good, right? When you're done drinking that, let's head back to our room. Okay. Oh, I'm tired as hell. So I'll see you in the morning. Wait, good night. I should get to sleep too. I think I'll have good dreams tonight. It's morning. Oh, look who finally decided to wake up. Huh? Time you think it is. Time for breakfast? Mm, breakfast was over ages ago. It's almost time to check out. What's I need to change? Calm down, Manami is dealing with that, so you still have time. Oh, I caused trouble for Manami again. Do you have, like, the world's lowest sense of self-worth or something? Huh? You caused trouble for Manami again? Are you kidding me? She just wanted to go check out. What part of that is trouble? She's your best friend, right? Would you think of helping her out as trouble? Of course not. Exactly. It's the same for Minami. Well, you really, you really help us, aren't you? Come on, hurry up and get dressed. Minami's waiting in the lobby. Hi, I just finished checking us out. Thanks, Minami. It's nothing. Oh, and also, I got the messages from my boyfriend. He says he wants to treat us all at lunch. He wants to meet you, too. Oh, that's wonderful. Minami, I'd love to. Actually, I was going to take Haru on a tour around the town after this. Really? What? He knows since Haru didn't get to go into the women's baths. I just felt really bad for her, so I thought I'd take her out for a bit. Then I'll go too. No, no, go meet your boyfriend. It's your birthday weekend. I'm sure he's got something planned for you. But Haru will be. Will you be okay? I'll be fine, Manami. Say hi to your boyfriend for us. Okay, then. It makes me happy to see you two getting along. Take good care of Haru for me, Erika. I'll head out first then. See you. See you later, Manami. So we're taking a tour around town? Nah, I just figured that you wouldn't want to meet up with Nama Man Manami's boyfriend. But if I didn't say anything, you would have just agreed, right? Probably. Hopeless. Anyway, I do actually want to take a look around town. Not sure where to go, though. Oh, good morning, Miss Nagata, yes? The lady who upgraded our room? Thank you very much for yesterday. That was nothing. If you are planning to visit the town, I, may I suggest the hot spring in this flyer? They have lovely private baths that can be reserved by anyone. My older sister often goes there. Your older sister? Yes. She also finds it hard to go into the women's baths when there are so many people about. Oh, is your sister also? Yes. So I just wanted to say I hope you have a wonderful time here at the hot springs. Forgive my intrusion. Well, that was pretty cool. I guess we should take the lady's advice. Wanna check out the reserved bats? Yeah, that'd be nice. Let's go then. That's ending number two. It's a nice, nice little game. I enjoyed it. <laughs>